I want to introduce the concepts of will and willpower. Oftentimes we conflate them and think they are the same thing. They are not. They are actually totally different. Let's take a look here. As I understand it, the will is a soul-based desire. And our will is always operating. Our will is our soul. Our soul, or rather, our will is the, the totality of what is contained within our soul at any given moment. This is the operating system that I was referring to in previous videos, where it is always going, always attracting, always manifesting. Now, because we humans in our current state are full of error, or for my Christian friends out there, sin, then we are always attracting what we perceive to be negative events in order to get us to feel out our emotions. However, rather than, rather than being humble and feeling all that stuff out, we try to use our willpower. Well, really we have a variety of techniques to avoid feeling our emotions, but willpower is an important one. Let's take a look at what I feel willpower is. Willpower is a spirit body based mechanism to temporarily override the will. Will, willpower. Willpower seems and feels like bigger or more effective, right? But you're actually using your own energy to override what your soul is naturally putting out. Imagine if I were, imagine if my skin were blue and, but I lived in a world full of green people. Well, if every day I woke up and painted my skin green so that I could fit in with the green people, I'm using my willpower to override my will. Because if I have blue skin, it's because something in my soul is dictating that's the case. And so if we're using our willpower, we are using a ton of energy, and it tires us out, to override what our soul is trying to naturally project. If we heal our emotional errors, we don't even need to use our willpower because our will will automatically bring to us what we want to create that's in harmony with love and, and truth. An example of this is when I was attempting to change my diet to be plant-based. I grew up eating meat with, at every single meal. So three times a day, I'm eating meat, okay? And then as I uh, reached some maturity, what some people call adulthood, I don't really call it that, that I started um, attracting a lot of people in my life who were vegetarian and vegan. I'm paying attention to my law of attraction, I noticed that like, hey, you know what? My soul is bringing these people into my life and they're showing me like, you know, in my particular situation, hey, these are some pretty cool people. They're fun to hang out with. They're in shape. They seem to be having a good time. They're super chill to hang out with. They know a lot of stuff and they're, you know, they're willing to create what they want. And I thought, hey, that's pretty cool. Like maybe there's something to like their lifestyle or what they're doing, right? So I did a little experiment where I attempted to be vegan, sorry, to be vegetarian for a week. Now, doesn't seem that hard, right? Like, just not eat meat for a week. But what happened was, when I got to day five, I was laying in bed at 10.30 at night, and I felt intense, ravenous cravings for animal flesh. So intense, it felt like someone was rich, re reaching into my stomach and ripping it out. I got out of bed, I went in my kitchen, and I fried up 20 chicken wings and ate them. Now typically, I would not eat 20 chicken wings at a time, I would eat 10. So here I'm overeating, I'm eating at nighttime, which is objectively not good for you, and I'm doing something that I'm telling myself I don't want to do. I'm using my willpower. And all I was doing when I was using my willpower was 
pushing down my cravings for animal flesh. I thought, erroneously, that by using my willpower to force myself to change my views, that that would work. I changed my behavior, I forced myself to change my behavior, and it's just changed. The truth is, that's not how it works. You need to have emotional experiences to change the vibratory state of your soul. So in my personal case, I was sun gazing. And I'll talk more about sun gazing in other videos. But when I got to four minutes of sun gazing, I started crying uncontrollably. And although I did not know why, I allowed myself to continue on with it, rather than making judgments about my own emotions, which oftentimes we do, especially men. A lot of men are taught that it's like so-called uh, unmanly or weak to cry. And I couldn't disagree more. I actually feel that showing your emotions in front of a, a stranger is actually one of the strongest and, and bravest things that a person can do. But going back to my story about the sun. So I was sun gazing and I'm having this emotional experience where I'm crying and I'm letting it all out. And I'm not trying to intellectualize everything. I'm not trying to figure out, you know, what does all this mean? I'm just letting it happen. And then the next morning, my cravings for animal flesh disappeared. Up like smoke. Now, what happened? Well, I went through that progression of emotions that I talked about in previous videos where I was able to get through and feel out my grief. And then once I felt out my grief, actually joy came into my heart because I felt the Creator's love and knew the truth on this particular subject. And now I no longer need to use my willpower to override cravings and appetites for animal products because I have changed the vibratory state of my soul. And now it's something that I don't waste energy on. And that is an example of how you can change your soul's construction and not engage with the willpower. Recognize when you want to do something or you're forcing yourself to do something, you're actually going against your own soul's vibration. And of course, the way you change your soul is by feeling your emotions. Okay, I'll say it one more time. Our will is soul, is a soul-based mechanism that is always in operation. The willpower is a spirit body mechanism that we use to change what we are attracting via our will. We are attempting to use power to override our will. I encourage each person to attempt to notice this in themselves and see because if you're attempting or if you're engaging in what you feel is non-loving behavior, it's far better to admit that you've got a craving and desire for a specific thing rather than lie to yourself and use your willpower to try to override it. The whole name of the game is getting rid of your suppressed emotions, feeling through them, not suppressing your emotions even more.